Operation Day 1. Welcome once again to our uh, session for today. So we're still on the differentiation rules. So today we are going to focus our discussion on the general power rule. So what is this general power rule? So this is given in this uh, formula. We have D. D stands for derivative. Derivative of u to the power n with respect to x equal to n times u to the power n minus 1 then times the derivative of u with respect to x. So that's our general power rule. Okay. Now, to give you an idea on how to use this rule, so let us have this uh, example. Our first example here. So we have example number one. We're given function of x f of x equal to the quantity 6x plus 3 raised to an exponent equal to 4 now we are asked to find the derivative of this function so this is our solution so f prime of x First derivative of x equal to. So the power says that you have to bring down the power or the exponent. Okay, so u to the n. So this is our u to the n. Our n is 4. So bring that uh, power or exponent down and then multiply it by u. So what is our u? This is our u. This is the base. Okay, so we have. 6x plus 3 and raised to an exponent or to the power of n minus 1 so 4 minus 1 then times the derivative of u so what is our u that is the base okay so our u is 6x plus 3 so we have to take the de derivative of this with respect to x okay so f prime of x equal to 4 times 6x plus 3 raised to a power 4 minus 1 is 3 then times so you have to apply the some rule for this part because we have to take the derivative of this all right so derivative of 6x so using the constant multiple rule so what is the derivative of 6x that is equal to 6 and what is the derivative of 3 so 3 is a constant so derivative of constant that is zero okay so f prime of x equal to four times six x plus three to the power three times six six plus zero is six so what is left is six and then combine them you have to multiply this with the 24 sorry with four so f of x is equal to 4 times 6 is 24 and times 6x plus 3 raised to a power 3 okay so this is our answer this is our derivative all right so that's our our first example 
So we have here another example. Example number two. So in our example number two, we are given y equal to square root of x cube plus 4x. So this is x cube. Okay? So the solution here is we have to transform this into a, a form with a, an exponent. A radical here means a rational exponent. Okay, so rewriting y equal to, so we can write this as x cubed plus 4x, then raised to a power, 1 half. Okay? So that is the equivalent uh, form of this. So we can now take the derivative. So we know that uh, we have several symbols no? in, in our derivative. We have uh, the symbols that we use for derivative. We have f prime, f prime of x. We also have is equivalent to uh, y prime. We also have uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. And we also have the derivative of uh, y with respect to x. Or we can use derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so using that idea, so we can have our derivative here. So y prime, this is read y prime, meaning derivative of, of our function, which is y as a function of x. Then we will apply the formula. So our formula is a power rule. We have derivative of u to the n is equal to n times u to the n minus 1 times derivative of u with respect to x. So in this case, our n is 1 half. Our u is x cubed plus 4x. Okay, so using or following the uh, power rule, general power rule, so we have 1 half. Okay, so bring this down. Then times x cubed plus 4x then raised to a power 1 half okay n minus 1 so 1 half minus 1 then times the derivative of what is our u here our u is x cubed plus 4x okay so the derivative of this with respect to x so therefore we have y prime equal to 1 half times x to the power 3 plus 4x raised to a power. What is 1 half minus 1? So 1 half minus 1 is equal to minus 1 half. Okay? So if you have 1 half, if you have 1 half, minus 1 okay so what is the result so find the lcd lcd is 2 2 divided by 2 1 times 1 1 this is understood over 1 so 2 divided by 1 is 2 times negative 1 so negative 2 so therefore we have 1 minus 2 is minus 1 then divided by 2 so we have negative one half so that's why we have here our exponent is minus one half then multiplied by so we will apply now the sum rule you no know, for this part here so we'll apply the sum rule so derivative of <coughs> x cubed so the power rule 
So we have to use the sum rule at the same time the power rule. So we have uh, power rule. So the power will go down multiplied by x the base. Then you have uh, 3 minus 1. Then plus this is constant multiple rule. So we have the constant 4 times uh, x here can be a power rule also. We can use the power rule understood to have a power 1 so it means power 1 bring down then x to the power 1 then minus 1 okay so y prime equal to 1 half times x cube plus 4x raised to a power 1 half negative okay negative 1 half times so this is 3x, uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, then plus 4 times 1 is 4, and times x, x to the power 1 minus 1 is 0. And we know that any number raised to a power 0 is equal to 1, provided that the base is not equal to 0. So therefore, y prime equal to 1 half times x cubed plus 4x raised to a power minus 1 half and times 3x squared plus so x to the power 0 x to the power 0 is equal to 1 so 4 times 1 is equal to 4 okay then we can rewrite this as we have 1 multiplied by all of these are numerators these are all understood to be divided by 1 right so this is negative you can uh, bring this down okay so when you bring this down so we have the numerator 1 times 3x plus 2 plus 4 so 1 times this one but you have to bring that down so you have 1 over this and the exponent becomes positive then you have here the numerator 3x plus 3x squared plus 4 multiplied by 1 so we have 3x squared plus 4 okay this one multiplied by 1 so this is the result then bring this down so the exponent is negative so when you bring this down that becomes positive and you have two at the denominator so two times the square root of x cube plus 4x okay so this is our answer All right, so I hope you were able to follow our uh, discussion. And that's all for this part class. Uh, I hope uh, I made the previous example clear this time. Thank you very much and see you again in the next uh, video. Uh, our topic would be... Uh, it's about... Our uh, next uh, topic here is about... Yeah, uh, constant. Uh, sorry, this is. It's either uh, product rule or quotient rule. So let's see what we are going to uh, discuss first. Okay, so perhaps uh, we will discuss uh, next the uh, product rule. Okay, so thanks uh, everyone, and see you again in the next video. And keep safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye-bye.